This video is about how to make a box plot or a box and whisker plot um, from your five number summary or your data. So if we are using from our last video, we had a five number summary where our min value was uh, 20. Our quartile one was uh, 28. Our quartile two was 32.5. Quartile three was 38. And our max value was 40. So we're gonna use that information to create our first box and whisker plot. So the first thing that you would do, you can make a box and whisker plot vertically with a scale drawn uh, vertically, or you can make the scale Horizontally, I tend to like my box and whisker plots done horizontally um, just because I'm used to doing them that way. They don't have to be done that way. But I'm going to draw a number line and I'm going to create um, units between my min and my max value. So I'm going from 20 to 40 and I want to create equal units between that. So I'm going to go by twos. So I'm going to start at 20 and go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And as usual, I've drawn my line too long. And so I'm just going to erase this part off. Sometimes you might need it longer or whatever. Now, I'm going to use my five number summary to get my boundaries for my box and whisker plot. So I'm going to plot in a straight line above that number line each of these five values. So I have my min value, my first quartile at 28, so 22, 24, 26, 28, along that same line horizontally. My uh, quartile 2 is at 32.5, so here's 28, 30, 32, so just slightly to the right of 32 is my quartile 2. And then quartile 3 is at 38, so 34, 36, 38. And then my max value at 40. Now I'm going to use my three dots in the center to create my box. How big you draw your box is really up to you. Uh, they don't have to be enormous, igno but um, they shouldn't be tiny, tiny either. A line through the middle goes through the quartile, so you can see how that divides the data inside the box. So this box is representing 50% of the data. Then we draw a line from quartile 3 to the max, and from quartile uh, 2 to the excuse me, quartile one, to the min, and these are called the whiskers. So the box and whisker plot is how it's got its name. Now this uh, overall shows us how the data is spread out. It shows us uh, how the data is grouped together with the 50%, and it's just a visual of that five number summary. Next, we want to look at um, finding if we have outliers. An outlier would be a value that is extreme. It doesn't really belong in our group of data, or it might skew the data, it might uh, change how the data looks because it is such an extreme value. In order to calculate an outlier, we have to know the IQR. Now the IQR is called the interquartile range. So that is the value from here to here, from quartile 1 to quartile 3. So we take quartile 3 and subtract the value from quartile 1 in order to find the IQR. So in our case, that would be 38 minus 28. And so the IQR is 10 for this particular problem. And then we use that to calculate a value. And we always do 1.5 times the IQR. Now there are some uh, people that 
use a different value than 1.5. Some people might use 2.5, um, but this generally is the same value in most lines of statistics. So 1.5 times 10 is going to give us the value of 15. Now what we do with that value is we want to find what is that upper level that is the value that a data can't be beyond, or what is that lower level that a value can't be below. And so we call this a fence. So we actually give it upper fence and lower fence values, is what we call them. And so on the upper fence, what we do is the <clears throat> upper quartile, 38, plus 15, we add that value in and we get 53. And then on the lower fence, we have to subtract. So we take the first quartile, 28 minus 15, and we get 13. And so what we ask ourselves is, do we have any data values that are above 53? No, none of our data, our max value was 40. None of our data was above 53. The same thing with the lower fence. Does any of our data go below 13? No, our minimum value was 20. So in this case, we had no outliers because all of our values were within those fence ranges. So um, that was our safety zone. Uh, we had no terribly extreme values. All right, let's look at a, another example. Um, <clears throat> this is um, some interest rates from uh, the Federal Reserve. And so we have interest rates of 6.5%, 12%, 14.4%, 14.4%, 14.3%, 13%, 13.3%, 13.9%, 13 a 9.9% and a 14.5%. Now again, the first thing you would need to do is to arrange your data in order from smallest to largest. So we have 14.3, 14 14.4, 14.4, 14.5. So we've arranged our data. Now, how many items do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 items, which means we have no middle value. So we need to take the two in the middle. and find the average. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And find that average. And so that average is 13.6 for quartile 2, or the median. And then that divides the data into two equal parts, 50% on both sides. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so the middle value then represents quartile 1, and the middle value here is 14.4, and that's quartile 3, so our five number summary. For the min is 6.5. Quartile 1 is 12, quartile 2 is 13.6, quartile 3 is 14.4, and our max is 14.5. So if we were drawing our box and whisker plot for that, 
Again, we'd start with our horizontal line, our smallest value being 6.5, our largest value being 14.5. Um, I think I'm going to make this uh, scale be by half. So I'm going to do 6 and a half, 7, 7 and a half, 8, 8 and a half, 9, 9 and a half, 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half, 14, 14 and a half, 15. Okay, now uh, again, drawing my box and whisker plot, I'm using my five number summary. So my lowest value is 6.5, which would be located here. My uh, first quartile is at 12. My uh, next quartile is at 13.6. Uh, third quartile at 14.4 and my max value at 14.5 so we're drawing our box around the middle and our line through quartile 2 I have a very short whisker here and a very long whisker here so there's our box and whisker plot for those Federal Reserve percentages. Now let's look and see if we have any outliers. Because we have this very long whisker, it is very likely that we might have an outlier on that lower end. Now I'm going to move this down just a little bit and give myself some room here. So I want to do the interquartile range which will be quartile 3, 14.4, minus um, quartile 1, which is 12. And so that is 2.4. And so 1.5 times 2.4 is going to give me the value of 3.6. And so to find my upper fence, I'm going to take quartile 3, which is 14.4, and add that value. So that makes 18. And I'm going to take my lower fence and subtract it. My lower fence was 12 and subtract 3.6. And so I get 8.4. Now, any values that are above 18 does not exist, but we do have a value below 8.4, and so that's going to be an outlier. So 6.5 is an outlier based on that calculation. Now, because we have an outlier, we're going to make a modified box and whisker plot. So it's very similar to the box and whisker plot, but it's just slightly different because we have an outlier. So we're still going to basically make those three dots, the uh, excuse me, the same five dots with from the five number summary. We're going to make that 6.5 dot. We're going to make the 12 dot and the 13.6 the 14.4 and the 14.5 dot. We're still going to draw our middle box. That's still the same. We're still going to draw that upper whisker, but we're going to draw in the fence for the upper. Now, I don't have room where I have it on our map, our uh, number line, because I ran out of room, but I would draw a fence at 18 for that upper limit. Now, because we have an outlier, my next value uh, in my list of data is 9.9. .9.
So I'm going to draw my whisker to that particular value. Let me get it in line instead of my outlier. And I'm going to make my outlier an asterisk. And my fence is at 8.4, and that's where I draw 